This is Amawar from the Lions to Kemper Yasha Allah coming at you guys from another lesson. Hope it's had a fine. To the Akim, to the Aqwa Fium, to anyone that's out there listening. But before I get into it, I'm gonna give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son and the Holy Prophet your names. And I wanna say call Halayum La, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Ha, Rakak Wadash Ma'ama. Double honors to the apostles and the others of GMS and salutations to the Akim that's pushing his truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, shalom to my IQ as well, all right, and Habatam, all right, uh, and also double honors to my elder as well, all right, to my elder, elder uh, Lions, then Kepa Yasha Allah, all right, so I'm just going to go into a lesson about how we're supposed to be seeking the Lord while he is near, man, calling upon their names, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being, him, being the father and Yahweh Shai being the son, all right, Yahweh, his name means he exists or he is. And the son's name is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers because he's the ultimate deliverer. All right, the one that's going to deliver us out of this corruption, this, out of this hellhole, all right, out of this bondage, man, all right, and, and save his people, you know, his his hope for elect, as well as uh, the men and women and children that truly believe in him, all right. So I'm just gonna go into a few scriptures. I hope it's edifying. So I'm gonna start at 55 of Isaiah and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Right? Because hey, we in a town, we're in a hellish condition. All right, we're in the hellish times right now. All right, we're in the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. And as time progresses, it's gonna get more hectic than what it is right now. Hey, the scripture tells us about the Lord, how the Lord How the Lord is gonna uh, speak, all right? And His words, are, His words are not gonna come back void, man. All right, so we gotta take heed, man. Be circumspect, all right. Be vigilant, all right. Why? Because the adversary, the devil, all right, is roaring, you know, look, lurking, look, seeking whom he can devour, who he can take out, man. So you gotta be vigilant, man, and, and, and putting on that whole what breastplate of faith, the whole breastplate. In the armor of your how about some y'all was shot, man? So you could what withstand the wiles of the devil, man. All right, because it's traps and snares being laid, all right, privately, all right, for our people. All right, so if you're not looking, all right, taking heed and hearkening to your how about your all right, because they're the ones who's going to give you the instruction so you could be able to dodge those traps and you know, snares and whatnot, man. So if you fall after the Lord, return unto them. All right, the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah will have mercy upon you, man. All right, so verse 7 says, Let the wicked forsake his way, all right, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon, man. So if you forsake your way, man, you know, remove yourself from this place, man, all right, not physically, but spiritually, man. You know, because the scripture script tells us that, you know, to flee out of the midst of Babylon, man. All right. So our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, what I've been hearing, especially at work, how our people want to build, 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 invest in this place and they want to build communities and farms and things of that sort, man. Not knowing that <clears throat> all hell is about to break loose. All right. It's a lot of things. Um happening all right and the lord is definitely sending his plagues man we seeing these different diseases being released we seeing the uproars of the people we seeing nation rising against nation man <coughs> Shalaki. all right so it, it's best that you return up to the lord so you can be satisfied in the times of drought because we're in a time of famine right now you know what i'm saying and it's gonna get worse man so Isaiah 55 and 7, it says, Return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. All right? So let me go to Proverbs. <clears throat> I'm going to start at verse 16. It says, Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith come, because you know, the scriptures talk about how the, the love of money is the root of all evil. And our people are definitely coveting out there and chasing that bad. You know, chasing after the fame, chasing after the, the clout, the, the things that's not 
profitable for them in the time of trouble, man, because of, according to Proverbs 11 and 4, it says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death, man. So the one that's seeking righteousness, seeking the ways of the Lord, all right, it's going to be delivered from death. But the one that's seeking at the, the, the riches of this world, this temporal money, all right, because everything is not guaranteed. We seeing the, the, the CBDCs, we seeing how the, the, the dollar fiat currency is being switched to the digital currency. We even seeing how they even trying to take the, the, the rights away from the people, man, all right, so they can implement more laws, all right, and keep you in more bondage, man, all right, and lay more snares and traps. That's why we got to follow the ways of the Lord, man, all right. The scripture says what, uh, my people hear my voice and they follow me. So the ones that's hearing his voice and hearkening to it, all right, trusting in his ways, man, all right, and following him, they're going to be protected, man, because according to what, Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous running between it is safe, man, all right, so back at Proverbs 11, you know, um, verse 5 says, the righteous of the perfect shall direct his way, right, the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, so the Lord, scripture says, the man's goings are of the Lord, man, it says, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness, man, so the one that's you know, the scripture says that the, the wicked is going to wax worse and worse, man. All right. So the, the, the wicked is going to fall by his own wickedness, man. That's why the scripture says to forsake his way and return unto the Lord, you know, seek him while he is near, you know. It says the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, right? But the transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness, man. All right. That's why we're supposed to be forsaking in our ways, man, forsaking in our thoughts, forsaking in, you know what I'm saying, the ways of, of, of what we think is right, man, because, you know, the scripture says the mind is deceitful above all things, man. All right, that's why we're supposed to be trusting in the Lord, waiting on them t for the redemption, to be redeemed, all right, or waiting to be delivered, man, you know. But our people don't want to be delivered. They want to have the glorification right now. They want to be greedy and and want, to, want all the gain and all the clout and everything of that sort is not profitable according to what Proverbs 11 and 4 said, you know. I'm going to go down to verse 28. It says, He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch, man. So the ones that's trusting in, in their riches, man, because the scripture says to store your riches up in heaven where moth nor rust nor Thieves can break through North Steel, man. All right, because Esau is definitely setting, setting it, the system up more and more of how he can watch your money. He can take your money at, at any instant if you're not doing according to what he wants you to do, man. All right, so thieves can break through and steal. But if you store your riches up, up in heaven, no man can't take it. No, Nothing can't be corrupted. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, he that trusted me, his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch, man. So the righteous is going to flourish and be sustained and satisfied in the time of drought. Because we definitely in the time of famine. All right, this is Psalm 56 and 1. It says, <clears throat> it says, Be merciful unto me, O Yahweh, for men would, so would swallow me up. He, fighting daily, oppresseth me. And because, because we know the scriptures talk about how they uh these evil men, all right, in these different nations is in confederacy uh, against the, the Lord's people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. So they doing everything they can to afflict and oppress the Lord's people on every on all sides, man, on every side, man. You know, but it says what? It says, "Be merciful unto me, O Yahweh," and that's what the the men of the Lord, the, the hope for led. You know, in the hope for elect of the men, women, and children, man. You know, that's that's the sign of crime for the abominations, man. You know, we we hoping, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and seeking the Lord for, for for guidance, man, for protection, man, and hoping that they're gonna they're gonna have mercy on us, knowing they're gonna have mercy on us, man. You know what I'm saying? Because these people is is definitely oppressing our people, man, daily. You know, it says for men would swallow me up. He fight he fighting daily, oppressive me. It's just my enemies would daily swallow me 
up, for they see many that fight against me, O thou most high, you know, because it's definitely many of them that's, that's fighting against us, man, you know, behind closed doors, like these bank banker elites, man, these uh, Edomites in these high places, man, or whatnot, man. Hey, could the scriptures talk about in Job 9 and 24 how the earth is given into the hands of the wicked and he cover up the faces to the judges thereof? If not, where who is he, man? You know, and that's what that's part of their plan. They, they're covering up the, our history, you know, leading our people uh, with all these different fake philosophies. It's, it's keeping our people in the dark, you know, groping in the dark and not seeing the light, man. Could the scriptures talk about in Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. So it's a lot of a lot of that going on, but at the same time, the Lord knows who He wants, man. You know that's why He got His men blowing that trumpet, man. All right, blowing that trumpet because Isaiah fifty-eight and one it says, "Cry aloud, spare not, and lift up thy voice like a trumpet." You know what I'm saying? And show my people their transgressions, man. So the Lord is have have His men doing their duties, man. All right. To 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 spread the word, man. To spread the gospel, man. So our people could. So, have a chance to return unto the Lord, man, because this is the time, all right? Because once the Lord, once that door is closed, all right, it's going to be a troublesome time for a lot of our people, all right? I'm going to go down to verse 11, all right? It says, In Yahweh have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. And that's, 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 uh, that's, that shows faith, all right? It, it shows that you fear the Lord, man, and not man, all right? Because the scripture says, "What well, uh, fear not what man can do unto you, because what the Lord can kill both the body and the spirit, man. All right? So fear not man, you know? And the scripture says, fret not thyself because of evildoers, man. So be not afraid of these evil men, all right? Or these evil people, man. All right? Let me go to Isaiah 41 and 10. It says, fear thou not. <coughs> so like, it says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Man, so the Lord is going to be by your side. The Lord is going to help you and guide you. All right, he's going to hold you. You know what I'm saying? Hold your hand and strengthen you, man. All right, build you up. All right. You know, so it says, be not dismayed, man. So it says, behold, all they that were incensed against me. So the ones that's in confederacy against us, man. All right. Oppressing us. All right. It says, shall be ashamed and confounded. It says, they shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a living, and shall like and as a thing of naught. So the ones that's incensed against us, or in, uh, against us, or plotting against us, or trying to do anything that's against us, all right, they're gonna be as nothing, and, they, and they're gonna, and they're gonna, and they're not gonna like it. They are not gonna be nothing regarded, man. All right. The Lord is going to bring them down low, and he's going to make sure that his, his righteous men, women, and children is going to be protected, man. All right? So it says what? Verse 13. For It says, For I, the Lord thy God, Yahweh, will hold thy right hand, send unto thee. Fear not, I will help thee. It says, Fear not, thy, thy worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Shai. All right, so hey, Yahweh Shah is going to be the one that's going to ultimately deliver us from, from everything, man. And he's delivering us from things daily, man. All right, delivering us from death. All right, delivering us from, from all these different, you know, lustful or hurtful things. All right, these evil spirits, man. The Lord knows who, who, who is his, man, you know, and he's going to protect them, man, you know. It because hey, it, the scriptures talk about how. Our people, you know, matter of fact, I'm going to go to it. It's predestinated, man.
All right, this is Romans 8. I'm going to start at verse 18. It says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. That's why we're supposed to be waiting, all right, for Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man, because they're going to give us the ultimate, you know, thing. They're going to give us the covenant. They're going to give us the, 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 the kingdom. They're going to give us everything to enjoy, all right? They're going to give us everlasting life, new bodies, all right? So it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So the Lord is going to glorify us. And when the Lord glorify us, man, we're going to be the we, we're going to be the shit. You know what I'm saying? When we low key, high key is the shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Because why? We falling out of the ways of Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shah. We keeping his commandments, all right? We we, 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 we we doing what's pleasing unto him, man. You know? And the Lord sees that. He's, it says, the scripture says, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, man. So the Lord sees what what what's, what's, what what you're doing, man? You know, because why? It says also the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil, man. So the eyes of the Lord, are, the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, the, than the sun, man. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to verse twenty-four. It says, "For we are saved by hope." But hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it, man? Right? Because it's a difference between the the, the, the the righteous and the wicked. All right, the righteous, all right, is going <clears> to <throat> hope in the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. All right, they're going to hope for that salvation. All right, but that natural man that brute beast of a man his 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 natural hope is to to make it here in this society or to get gain you know because our people think what gain is godliness man so our people want to be glorified in this place man you know rather than being glorified in the lord and, and not waiting on the lord to, to glorify them and that's where the, the, the patience come in that's where the impatience come in with the wicked because they want everything right now you know what I'm saying? So they're about to sell their soul, you know what I'm saying, and do what Esau, their, their father, the devil, telling them to do, all right, to get that bad, rather than, you know, fall out to Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah, which, what, give us all things to enjoy, richly all things to enjoy, man, you know? So verse 28 says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh, <clears throat> to them who are the call according to his purpose, right? It says, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to, to, to be conformed to the image of his son. Right? Because we all are made in the image of, of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. All right? So it's just the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right? It says, it says that he might be the firstborn amongst many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. So the ones he called, right, he did predestinate, all right? It says, in whom he, he called, them he also justified. In whom he justified, them he also glorified, man. All right, so if you call, you know what I'm saying, you got to stay strong and, and fight to the end. For the scripture says, those that endure to the end shall be saved, man. All right, so it's, 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 a, tough, it's a tough war out here, man. It's, it's a great fight going on right now all right physical and spiritual man all right but you if, if you got your how about some y'all was shot by your side all right it's nothing to be afraid of man all right just continue on with the the words of the lord man and they're gonna provide you what you need man you know so moreover whom he did predestinate them he also called and whom he called them he also justified and whom he justified them, he also glorified. So we're going to be justified and glorified, man. All right. So what does it say? What shall we say then to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? So those that's a sense, you know what I'm saying? Against us, you know, laying tricks and snares and traps for our people. All right. They're not going to be as, they're going to be as nothing, man. All right. Nothing regarded, man. All right, that's why we put our trust in your heart by Shah, you know. Verse 29 says, 
Jeremiah 17 and 17 says, Be not a terror unto me. Thou art my hope in the day of evil. God, man, and that's what the, the, the righteousness of the Lord people, all right, is saying. We are hoping in the Lord, man, all right, to protect us in the day of evil, man, because the days of evil are at hand, man, all right. So with that being said, seek the Lord while he is near, all right, call upon his name, all right, their names, the true holy names, man, all right, not Yeshua, not Bin, Bin Yahweh, Bin Yahweh, none of that bull, all right, Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Father, which means He exists or He is. And the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, which means He delivers, man. All right. The deliverer, the, the true deliverer, man. All right. So we're supposed to be seeking the Lord and, and hoping in His mercy. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to say it's for the long.